Have you ever looked up in the night sky and wondered where we belong in this vast universe? Our tiny little sun and solar system is about 28,000 light years away from the galactic center, moving above and below the galactic plane during its orbit at around 828,000 km per hour or about 230 km per second. Our solar system takes about 226 million years to complete one orbit around Milky Way center in a clockwise direction. However, Earth revolves in a counterclockwise direction around the Sun. Let us zoom in on our little Earth and learn more about its motion. The shape of Earth's orbit is known as eccentricity. As Earth moves around the Sun, the orbital eccentricity changes slightly over a period of 100,000 years. And one complete orbit takes 365 decimal 256 days. During this time, the Earth will travel around 940 million kilometer or about 584 million miles. During this orbit, Earth is furthest from the Sun on around 3rd of July and closest to the Sun on around 3rd of January. As we move around the Sun, we experience longest day in Northern Hemisphere on 21st of June. We call this Summer Solstice. Winter Solstice comes on 21st of December with longest night on the Northern Hemisphere. Around 21st March and 23rd of September, the length of the day and night will be around the same. We call this vernal equinox and autumnal equinox. We experience this four seasons because the Earth's axis is tilted by about 23 decimal 4 degree with respect to the Earth's orbital plane around the Sun. The axial tilt, which is also known as obliquity, oscillates between 22.1 and 24.5 degree on a 41,000 year cycle and this tilt is currently decreasing. You see, presently the North Celestial Pole is directed towards Polaris or the present North Star. But by about 13,000 AD, our North Star is going to be Vega, as our rotational axis points towards it. The direction to which Earth's axis of rotation is pointed rotates in a circular motion and a complete cycle takes about 26,000 years. This is called axial precession or Ubel. How will it affect our seasons? Well, for starters, it is going to be hot summer days during Christmas time, as all our understanding about equinoxes and solstices will simply reverse. But hey, don't worry, it will be very slow and progressive change, and we may not even notice it if we humans are still around by then. Let's recap. The Earth rotates once every 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4 seconds. The surface of the Earth at the equator moves at a speed of 460 meters per second or roughly about 1000 miles per hour. And one complete orbit takes 365 decimal 256 days. Mainly there are three periodic motions in Earth's orbit also known as Milankovitch cycles. These motions contribute to variations in Earth's climate, changes in eccentricity cycles in 100,000 years, axial precession happens in 26,000 year cycle and changes in obliquity takes 41,000 years to complete one cycle. These numbers may seem huge in terms of human life cycle but compared to universal time scale, they are just a blink of an eye. By the way, have you ever noticed that normally days are longer than nights near the equator? Do you know why? Due to various atmospheric density, the sun's rays get refracted. 
it bends the light a refraction is particularly stronger during the morning and evening time when the sun's rays are slant even though the actual sun is below the horizon its apparent image would appear above the horizon due to refraction it's kind of a mirage that we'll experience on hot summer days in a desert so you will experience an advanced sunrise and a delayed sunset if you are near the equator so next time you look at the night sky or see a sunrise or sunset remember this little video you saw today let's be curious hmm?